Hey y'all, welcome back to another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. This is video three of four in my North Fork bullet series. Today we're gonna be shooting their 300 grain percussion point bullet out of the 375 H and H Magnum. And here's the box for those 300 grain percussion point bullets in 375 caliber. Let's open it up and take a look at them. And they come in a rather nice actually little foam tray so you can individually pull your bullets out on your reloading bench kind of nice and we'll pull one out of here to show you and here it is that 300 grain percussion point bullet interesting design up here towards the tip you see this little ridge here it'll be cool to see what that does upon impact and then here are a few of the loaded cartridges i put together for this test i used brand new privy partisan brass and primers of course the 300 grain percussion point bullets as far as powder charge and load specifics like that for various reasons i'm not going to get into that what i tried to do is create a nice stout hunting load about 75 percent of the way to the top end easily replicable not the hottest you could create but far from the weakest and here's the little flyer that they included with these bullets let's flip it around right here you can stop pause and read that if you would like it's sort of just a little story of north fork bullets but what i wanted to show you is we're going to be shooting these out of the 375 the percussion point let's read that designed for soft skin game the percussion point has a cut frontal groove to ensure very rapid expansion while retaining deep penetration it'll be interesting to see what we get let's go shoot them and the test rifle today is going to be my Winchester Model 70 Safari Express, chambered in 375 H&H Magnum, of course. It's got a 24-inch barrel. And up top, we've got a Leopold VX6 HD 1-6x24 scope. And I've got one of my thick Latigo leather slings on here. Check out my website, masonleather.com, to get you one. I'd love to make you one. Let's see what this bad boy will do. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And let's take a look at the velocities for that North Fork 300 grain percussion point load out of the 375 H and H. And these hand loads were cooking, y'all. Cooking. Our high was 2614. Our low, 2599. And our average was 2605. But for reference, most factory loaded 300 grade 375 H and H ammo is running about 2530. So we are well over most of your factory ammo velocities here. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting those 300 grain percussion point North Fork loads out of the 375 H and H. I had some trouble catching the bullets. This thing flings that front block around. You should see it in the clip right before this, but we did manage to capture three bullets. I think I wound up firing six shots to do it. A couple zipped out of the blocks, but nevertheless, there they are back in the third block. Let's go ahead and take a look at penetration. And so we've got one, two right there at exactly the same depth. Those are right at about 35 inches. The face of the bullet is. And then the third one right there is right about 36 inches. So some nice deep penetration from an expanding 375 H and H hunting bullet. And I'll come over to this other side and show you the wound track in the first block. If I can get it where the glare makes it where you can't see. So right here, that is one bullet track right there. And as you can see, it comes in, it expands open and starts to create that wound track a little bit. Coming on back, coming back, and then tapers off. There's a big blow up. Well, not big really, at about the nine inch mark. So this is a lot less, I don't know what you would call it, explosive than say a 150 grain 30 odd six load or something like that. These bullets do not blow up on impact. They don't just rapidly expand like, like say a 150 grain soft point out of a 30 odd six or something. They go in, they open up and they penetrate really deep. And then here they are, all three of them. And they did maintain their position. They didn't tumble or anything like that. It looks like we did get some good expansion. The one on the bottom here, 
veered down into the block and then kind of clinked the table and then turned sideways. It didn't skate the table. There's no damage to the table, so we will be counting that one. And here are those North Fork 300 grain percussion point bullets fired from the 375 H&H &H mag as recovered from the ballistics gel. Let's go over the metrics. Weight retention, we saw 287, 289, and 291 grains. For an average of 289 grains retained weight, that works out to 96% weight retention. And considering how fast these things were going, we'll talk about that in a second, I consider that really, really good. And then on to expansion, we saw 0 0.74, 0 0.74, and 0.75 inches for an average of about 0.74 inches expanded diameter, which works out to 2x expansion. And being that these things are so big from the start, I consider that pretty good as well. And also note, looking at the bullets here, how incredibly uniform the expansion is. It is almost a perfect circle of expansion. It's not like a jagged shard here or there. It's the entire circumference of the bullet that expands evenly all the way around. And now on to velocity. This was really interesting. Our high velocity was 2614. Our low was 2599 for an average of 2605. And of course, there's no factory build velocity to compare to because these were hand loads. But what I will say is that I looked at several factory 300 grain loads as far as their factory build velocities, and they seem to average around 2,530 feet per second. So these things were cooking quite a bit faster than most of your factory 300 grain 375 H&H loads. These things were hauling. And then on to penetration, we saw 35 inches, 35 inches, and 36 inches for an average of about 35 inches of penetration. And again, I have to say, I haven't tested any 375 H&H factory loads yet, but based off the other metrics, the performance of these bullets, I'd have to say this penetration seems really, really good to me, especially for what these bullets are supposed to do. And then on a kinetic energy with a 300 grain bullet going on average 2,605 feet per second, we're looking at 4,520 foot pounds of energy. These things are sledgehammers. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on those North Fork 375 caliber 300 grain percussion point bullets as loaded in and fired out of a 375 H and H Magnum. Now the first thing I want to do is pull up their little flyer they included and sort of read the mission statement for this particular kind of bullet so that we can look at our performance through that lens and see if the bullet measured up to what they say it'll do. So for their percussion point bullet, it says designed for soft skinned game, the percussion point has a cut frontal groove to ensure rapid expansion while retaining deep penetration. So did it do that? I think it absolutely did. This 375 caliber 300 grain percussion point bullet definitely expanded 2x expansion. Remember, it's starting off very large. It's 375 caliber, it's not a 308 caliber, it's not 7 millimeter. We're up there in the mid range, sort of big range, you know, big game rifle territory. Stuff that people start taking to Africa, things like that. So I'm not really expecting, you know, 2.5x expansion or anything like that. 2x expansion I think is really good. At the end of the day, these bullets were three quarters of an inch across on their expanded surface. They got big. And not only that, they retained 96% of their weight, excellent weight retention, which helped them to punch really deep, at least in my estimation. Remember that caveat I mentioned earlier, I haven't tested any other 375 H&H &H factory loads, so unfortunately I can't directly compare my reloads I put together two commonly available factory loads. All I can do is go off the information I have for, for this load that I put together. But we can use some inference here. We got 35 inches of penetration, very consistent, 35, 35, and 36. That's deep for an expanding soft point bullet that is meant for thin skin game as per their sort of mission statement for that bullet. This bullet isn't designed for your Cape Buffalo. It's not really meant for your elephant rhinoceros. It's not your dangerous game bullet. As I understand it, this is more for your thin skin plains game type stuff. In North America, I think it would be an excellent choice for elk, moose, bear stuff like that and then if you were to go over to Africa your larger antelope species kudu elan you know hemsbach wildebeest your bigger stuff and I think based on its performance it would be an excellent choice for that and also one more thing these things were loaded hot I mentioned earlier that I tried to sort of make a stout hunting load with these as per the reloading data I was able to find for whatever reason 
these went faster than I thought they would. This is not a you know the top end load here that I put together. I didn't load it to the max spec with the powder or anything like that. I did sort of a 75% spec with the powder, but we exceeded factory rated velocities for common 300 grain loads. So just keep that in mind. And at the end of the day, even though I don't have any other 375 H and H factory loads to compare to. I'd wager that this load I put together with these North Fork bullets is going to be tough to beat. All in all, if I was looking for a hand loading option for 375 H&H or something similar, 375 Ruger, etc., I would definitely give these things a try. If you'd like to source some for yourself, visit their website, northforkbullets.com. They've got a dealer locator on there. You can find that, find a dealer in your area or online where you can order some and put them to the test yourself. And check out my website, masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options including name, initial, and caliber stamping as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.